nobody has been able to definitively establish when or where the spooky Bloody Mary mythology first appeared, or who Bloody Mary really was, making her history a mystery. Nevertheless, a number of ideas have been circulated regarding Mary's true identity and the origins of her depressing mythology. As with many legends, the story's details are altered as it is told throughout time and vary regionally to better fit the needs of the audience. Because of this, there are several interpretations of the game and ideas about what would transpire if Bloody Mary is successfully summoned. Folklorists have been able to date these different stories to the 1960s, but the Bloody Mary legend and the associated eerie teen overnight custom may be far older. In actuality, the folklore's components have roots in far ancient ceremonial activities like self-hypnosis and mirror gazing. The legend, ritual, and potential identities of the notorious Bloody Mary are all explored in this list. The core elements are the same, but many places have their own variations on how to conjure the Bloody Mary spirit. You'll always require a dimly lit candle in the bathroom, a mirror, and an equal mixture of bravery and foolishness. After gathering these components, various things might happen. After lighting the candle and turning out the bathroom light, some game variations instruct you to slowly recite Bloody Mary three times while gazing into the mirror. According to some accounts, calling her name aloud five times would awaken her. Some variants go so far as to recommend spinning anywhere from 3 to 13 times before chanting. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Followed by blowing out the candle <sighs> to call her in the dark. The repercussions of summoning this infamous bleeding witch are numerous, but none of them favorable. The least severe outcome is merely seeing Bloody Mary in the mirror, while another outcome dictates that the mirror will begin to bleed. As a result, you start to develop enigmatic claw markings all over your body and face. Some predict that Mary will pull out the summoner's eyes through the mirror. Others believe that she will make anybody around her go mad. While others assert that summoners will die right away. According to one interpretation of the Bloody Mary mythology, she is the ghost of a witch by the name of Mary Worth, who experimented with the evil arts by kidnapping young girls and using their youth to preserve her own beauty. Eventually, maybe during the Civil War, the people learned that there was a witch among them, 
and resolve the situation on their own. Mary was taken outdoors, impaled on a spike, and set ablaze. Many people think that because her remains were interred on her own farmland, the place is now cursed. Mary Worth's ghost was eventually and eerily absorbed into a mirror, and it is now called forth whenever preteens get together for a sleepover. This variation's game entails locking oneself in a dark bathroom with a candle, which symbolizes the flames of her demise, and chanting, I believe in Mary Worth, three times in front of the mirror. While there are many other theories about Bloody Mary's origins, the most widely accepted one declares that she was actually Mary I, Queen of England, during the Tudor era. The five-year reign of the Catholic Queen earned her the moniker Bloody Mary due to her unusually high rate of miscarriages and her propensity for regularly ordering executions, particularly of Protestants. The I Stole Your Baby version of the game was inspired by the history of Mary Tudor's several miscarriages and two fictitious pregnancies. In this variation, chanters continue to request Bloody Mary three times, but add the insult, I stole your baby at the end. Another origin myth for this blood-spattered mystery woman is that she is actually the ghost of Mary Worthington, a stunning but extremely vain woman. According to folklore, she was scarred in a horrific accident. Mary took her own life in the 1960s because she was unable to function without her previous attractiveness. Aside from that, the legend of creatures summoned in bathrooms is prevalent in many cultures. The Japanese version of a Bloody Mary is called Hanako-san or Tor no Hanako-san, which translates to Hanako of the toilet. The ghost of a World War II era girl that haunts school bathrooms is referred to as Hanako-san. It is said that if one knocks three times on the third stall in a girl's bathroom in a school and asks, are you there Hanako-san, then she will respond, I am here. A little girl with bobbed hair and a crimson skirt is allegedly waiting for you if you decide to use the stall. Hanako-san's white bloodied hand is rumored to appear from under the door once she is called. In certain areas, it's even said that if you enter the stall after Hanako-san answers, a three-headed lizard would allegedly consume the summoner. Hanako-san is a well-known urban legend in Japan, and just like in the West, kids frequently play the game to demonstrate their bravery to their friends. With respect to mirrors, they have long 
been believed to be portals to the spirit realm, and ancient cultures have long used them to see into the future and converse with paranormal beings. In the British Isles during the 1700s, teenage girls would engage in a ceremony using a candle and a mirror to determine who their future spouses would be. A young woman would hold a candle in front of a mirror as she brushed her hair and nibbled on an apple. Evidently, when they looked in the mirror, their future husband's visage would be seen over their shoulder. However, the girl would pass away prior to getting married if the face of a skeleton emerged instead. In fact, this example from the poems of Robert Burns was published in 1787. Take a candle and go alone to a looking glass. Eat an apple before it. And some traditions say, you should comb your hair all the time. The face of your conjugal companion to be will be seen in the glass as if peeping over your shoulder. With regard to popular culture, the story of Bloody Mary has appeared in several works, including video games, television shows like Ghost Whisperer, Charmed, and Supernatural, as well as full-length motion pictures. The South Park parody in which the lads challenge one another to shout Biggest Smalls three times in the mirror is perhaps the funniest interpretation of the original. The film Candyman presents a fascinating version of the Bloody Mary mythology. In it, their narrative opens in the 1890s with a forbidden romance between Carolyn Sullivan, the daughter of a wealthy landowner, and Daniel Robitai, the son of a slave. Caroline gets pregnant, but her father won't acknowledge the connection because of the couple's ethnic differences. Roby Tai is brutally murdered by Mr. Sullivan with the help of a lynch crowd who also amputates his right hand and covers him in honey and chants, Candyman, while bees sting him to death. As Roby Tai breathed his last, he was heard to say, Candyman in Caroline's mirror. His soul was magically imprisoned in the mirror as a result of this deed for all time. In this adaptation, a summoner must say Candyman five times while facing a mirror in order to be approached by him. The summoner will be assassinated by Mr. Robbie Tai's vengeful ghost using the bloody hook that served as his missing hand. Notwithstanding all this, science might offer an answer, assuming your friends Sister's cousin is speaking the truth when she claims Bloody Mary appeared to her at a sleepover last summer. It appears that hallucinations can occur without the use of hallucinogens. All it takes is extended looking at a mirror 
in a poorly lit space. Psychologists' experiments have validated the phenomenon. In essence, your brain begins to fill in the blanks due to a lack of clarity, which causes the reflection's facial features to change or melt and even add things that aren't actually there. These hallucinations might be frightening or familiar. This process may possibly be aided by the adrenaline from the prior spinning in the version discussed above. In the end, the Bloody Mary game does function, but whether you are actually seeing Bloody Mary is up for debate.